All right, you go first. <laughs> Didn't you already do that one? You did that one? That was the first one you did. How are you going to do it again? <laughs> did I? <laughs> Let me yeah. just take two. Let me get this out. Hold on. Because <laughs> uh, it, it hit me. Because I, I, you put me on the spot. I was like, uh, uh, sure. We're going to do it. Uh... That's why I put it in the docket so you know beforehand. I like, know I, the beat battles. I always because you know I'm so I'm so musical. Um, of course, you always go to Usher though. Mm, yeah, that's my mm. man. He's the king. Mm. I got another. I'll do another Usher song. I don't know if this is fair. But we gotta do like radio hits. This is a radio hit. This is like oh, the okay, biggest Usher going. song ever. <laughs> Cause I don't I don't be listening to Usher like that. I don't know. Oh let it burn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got you. Okay, okay, okay. All right. You ain't gonna you ain't gonna know what hit you. <laughs> oh gosh. That's what I was expecting you to get. No, that, that's, that didn't sound nothing like it. <laughs> <laughs> it does. No, it didn't sound like it. And then I was going to say, no, it's not that. It's Men in Black by Will Smith. And you was going to be like, oh, it's diabolical. You got me. No, no, that's not how it sounds. Yeah, that's not how it sounds. It's diabolical. You got me. No, no, that's not how it was. But you said Lloyd? Yeah, I thought it was like, I thought you were doing that. I thought you were trying to do that sound. No! Yeah. That is like... Boom. At some point, you're going to have to give him hit him with your Lloyd impression. You say what? At some point, you're going to have to hit the audience with your Lloyd impression. Okay, yeah, I will. Yeah, at some Not point. this episode. Yeah, at another time. Anyway, it's a good way to introduce everybody to the... <laughs> Uh, we ain't got they don't podcast. know what they heard, but yeah, you, you said what? <laughs> they don't know what they were hearing. They probably thought they clicked on the wrong. So this can't be it. This can't be the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that is, um, is this an outtake or beat battle? Yeah, we do. Oh no, absolutely not. This is going to be the opening of every episode. Yeah. We will have a beat battle. Yep, and uh, the audience can join in at any time. <laughs> Feel free to give suggestions. We'll keep a pool yeah. of all the songs and then we'll play your top use them. 20 hits. Smooth uh -huh. jazz. <laughs> I'm going to do a smooth jazz song next. All right, that's cool. Gonna... It's probably just going to be Kim. <laughs> I know I know every every Kim song. Every though Kim sounds the same in everything. He does, but that's girl. Uh... You're wrong. Ned wrong. <laughs> Me. Mm -mm. <laughs> When but your yeah, heart I am... is broken, <laughs> when your room is pride is laid to rest, yeah, you never open your 
anyone else is pain. <laughs> but you learn. <laughs> My mom, that's my that first album. <laughs> that first album my mom listened to in the car like every day, every time I was in the car for like a year. So I know every lyric of that whole first album. My dad had the second album, played that out, and then I got hooked and got the first album on my own somehow. So I know the first, his first two albums I know back to front. Yeah, and Kim was my dog. Shout out to Kim. Uh, Just shout out to Kim. Friend of the podcast. <laughs> 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 and Anybody we bring up is a friend yeah, of the podcast. Yeah, pretty much. It's pretty. Hey, we need to. He in Detroit. He from Detroit. Well, he's from Detroit. I don't know if he's there. Is he? Yeah, he's from Detroit. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to have to figure out a like, way to get in touch with him. We got to reach out. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> nah, my mom gonna try to date him. I ain't doing that. Well, Kim, that wouldn't be a bad stepdad. <laughs> it's Kim. Kim, your stepdad. <laughs> <laughs> no offense to our friends of the podcast, but I I just don't know how that would work out. Yeah. Uh, I just make fun of him too much. <laughs> I like him. I like his music. <laughs> but the first album sounds like the fifth. I'm like, the... He got a sound and he he stayed in that pocket. I know. I know. I mean, it works. I still hear people bumping him every day around here. So I didn't know he was from Detroit, though. Yeah, he's from Detroit. So speaking of, speaking of your mom, I think this is a great time. Um, on a serious note, guys, you know, we try to keep it lighthearted. But on a serious note, I would like to... Uh, a few episodes ago, I... I made some jokes and told a story that was true, but I regret now about, you know, stealing Kyle's sister's Aaliyah CD. Um, I'm not proud of that. That's not who I am. I'm not a thief. Yeah. I don't. How dare you. Um, I do apologize um, for real. Because, you know, Kyle, uh, Kyle's mom and his sister, they're like family. They've taken me in so many times. And so I just want to publicly apologize. And uh, I intend on replacing the CD. And another Leah CD, and um, yeah, and another one. You sold two? No, I'm just just I was gonna oh. get to. No, no, I was just, about to, no. I'm about to cut this off right no, now. No, no, nah. And so I just want I do want to apologize though, cause yeah. So hopefully they can forgive me. Here you go. Don't why are you laughing? I I'm was, serious. I don't. I was trying to like keep it together, but it was. You brought that in at the wrong time, but whatever. <laughs> See, now you know. Now they're not taking this serious, and I need them to take it. Uh, oh my god! Uh, they'll hear you, yeah. hopefully. Or <laughs> they boycotting this from now on. Mm. <laughs> uh. Um, you didn't introduce yourself, by the way. I don't think you did. Oh well, hey, it's V Bear Valerian. You know, here once again. Um, I told I told you they called you V Bear. The star of the show. I'm happy to be here. What? Um, I I, mean, I wouldn't go that far. I mean, you know, somebody's you know, got co co stars maybe. Yeah, but like my name is first. It's like I'm like if this is the Avengers on on what? On like if this was a movie, they's gonna put my name first, and then you be right there under. And nah, then I'll be the last one that says like Kyle with Walker Kyle Walker. Ass. That means you only get like three ass. scenes. No, it'll be like Kyle Walker as, and then it'll have like the character I'm playing. That's usually the important person too. Man, that's like... it's like the person that they bring in. That's like a decorated actor or actress. <laughs> they bring them in. Like, but I'm getting most of the scenes. That was pretty much what's happening. <laughs> Still, they they put your 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 iced tea on special <laughs> victims unit. Okay, <laughs> that's what you are. <laughs> you gonna get one, maybe two lines max per episode. He get more than that. <laughs> no, he, get, he gets like one line episode. He gets like two scenes. Like, yeah, 
Yeah, we caught them running away from the this, harvest. This store. don't, please. This you gotta work on that one. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta work on the ice tea. Go back to the drawing board. Not right now. <laughs> no, stop, please. Let's go get these suckers. <laughs> <laughs> That's his lines. <laughs> <laughs> but my sister is like I'm always making fun of him and she's like nah I don't mess with the ice he nice and I'm like stop stop it Brandy don't do that <laughs> but she's like nah but he had a whole episode where we're just about him and his son I'm like one episode uh, out of like 20 seasons yeah I mean the two main is uh I forget their names but yeah anyway um yeah, I don't really watch it. I don't know. It's the one dude left and had a illustrious career. The main okay, or never mind. It's neither here. Nor yeah, there. the main dude. Oh right. Okay. But, <sighs> anyway, so uh, <laughs> do you have a dessert of the week for us this week, Kyle? Yes, boys and girls. Uh, the dessert of this week is lattice cherry pie. Lattice. How do you spell the lattice part? Don't ask me that. You know I can't spell. I don't even know why you would do that in all in front of all these people. My, my heart immediately started pounding. My ears all hot. Like I'm so nervous right now. Why would you ask me that? You know I can't spell. It might have two T's. That's what I can tell you. I think it. I think it's two T's. I'll figure out how to spell it. Don't worry. <laughs> they stand you. It was funny. As soon as I asked it, I was like, he don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just, like, it was just instinctually, because I was like, Lattice, how you spell Lattice? So I just, I blurted out how you spell that. I wasn't trying to make fun of you, but then after I said it, I was like, he don't. Not I'm hot. I gotta turn the fan on now. Okay. Um, yeah, I figured you might not know. It's cool. Let me Google it right quick. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go out on the limb. L A T T I C E. Okay. I think I think that's how you spell Lattice it. Lattice cherry pie. Yeah. Okay. You're right. You're right, actually. All right, cool. We was we were pronounced Latisse in the black community, but it's you know <laughs> white people call it lattice. But I'm nah, gonna say Latisse I'm cherry educated. pie. But yeah, I got it. Latisse is cherry pie. It's a restaurant. <laughs> it's a soul food restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> it's a front for a drug dealer. That's racist, Cal. I'm not gonna have that. That's anti-black. Why can't Latisse? Uh, as it came out of my mouth, I thought about. I was like, maybe, maybe I shouldn't say that. So how uh, how was this dessert? When did you have it? Uh, I've been eating it like as soon as I finished the key lime pie. Actually, I had donuts in between. I had like a little, um, like a, <laughs> <laughs> a little donut binge. Small, <laughs> yeah, I just, little quick. I just had to like cleanse my palate and then <laughs> donut binge to carry the... you through over. Okay. Yeah, okay. then I moved on to the pie. Okay. I had like a couple of days of donuts. Okay, those were good too. Word. But those didn't make the dessert of the week. Word. It was just intermittent. Mm -hmm. But it's been good though. Mm -hmm. Do you warm it up I each time you pie. buy it, or will you eat it, or how does that work? Say it again. Do you warm it up each time you uh, eat it, or absolutely. Okay. Uh, you know, pop it in the microwave thirty seconds. Um. Always gotta have the Cool Whip on deck. I was deck. gonna ask, do you one, put the Cool Whip on One it? dollop. Oh, one just dollop. A dollop. A dollop. On. dollop. Oh, okay, yep. that's a, just, you just dropped a new one on me. I didn't. Yeah, I don't know what a dollop is. Just, I'm gonna have to add that. Just to, slap that on there. Yeah, slather um, it on there, like shaving yeah, cream. You know, you, they used to have a commercial that say "Do a dollop with Daisy," but that was for like cream cheese or something. I don't, I don't remember this commercial, but I believe you. Uh oh, I mean, it's it's about food. I remember food commercials. <laughs> I just remember all the toys I couldn't get because uh, we was poor as a kid. That's if you, if you want to know. I, was, I remember all the toy commercials because they would make toy commercials would look so dope. Like they would make them look lit. It like, oh my god, that's what's gonna happen if I get this toy. So I remember uh -huh. so many toy commercials now. And then when 
And I also remember buying a few of them and the experience not being nearly as exciting as the commercial. It never is. And, and <laughs> it never I got is. an early lesson in capitalism and materialistic <laughs> desires are very early. Especially like Nerf guns. Oh, never like is great. It's never is Never fun. shoot as like fast as they shoot on the commercial. Mm. The, uh, the 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 um, the tracks, like the little track race car tracks, you know, mm-hmm. they had all the setup. I thought, you know, you sit up at your house and it's just doesn't, it's not as fun. No, it wears. It's never the same. After one day, you're like, ah, all right, this is kind of <laughs> stupid. Um, yeah, <laughs> but a uh, lattice cherry pie or lattice cherry pie, depending mm. on your ethnicity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's good. You recommend yeah, it. Well, what what's your on the scale of one to ten? What what are we giving it? Um, I'd give it a seven. Okay. Scale of one to ten. Better is that better or worse than the key lime pie? Mm. Dang, that's tough. It's better. I like cherry better. Okay, so you went up a little bit. You got a little... I mean, I would still... I would say, like, maybe six or seven, I'd put the cherry at. Okay. I've had better things, mm-hmm. but it's it's up there. Okay. It's pretty good. That's good. You're just like an addict chasing your next high, your next fix. But I feel it. I'm glad your fixes are kind of equally as fixy or whatever. That being said, um, I, I really do think I have developed a sugar addiction oh. over the past couple of years you think i think so mm. but i'm like okay with it like, like i don't think i need to change anything <laughs> the thing that i've changed <laughs> well, is i brush my teeth more often that's so I don't a start get cavities. that's like, a start yeah that's that's a because i actually had my first cavity within the past couple of years and it like rocked my foundation man Cause I've never had one. I've never even been close to having one. Oh wow! And, like really, it woke you up, huh? Really, yeah, it really shook me up. Yeah, yeah, that was like the equivalent of like a drug dealer overdosing. Was that for you? Was that what it was for you? <laughs> I can't go that far, okay? Because people are really suffering out here in the world. They are, they are, and addiction is not funny, but you know. <laughs> but yes, it is absolutely one hundred percent. I know exactly what that feels like. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, my cavity was my overdose. Mm, yeah. Yeah. We'll keep you yet in prayer. Um yeah. Thank you. Thank That's you. That's cool. That's cool. Um so how's your week been? It's cool. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm laughing because we're still figuring these things out, guys. Yeah. Some some things are just some we're just ride with us. Uh-huh. This is this is a journey. <laughs> this is a <the> journey. <laughs> We just at the beginning, and we thank y'all for coming along with us on this ride. Yeah, yeah. So we going straight to the top. <laughs> but first, we stop for lattice cherry pie. Mm. Mm. So I, I last thought on dessert of the week. I'm gonna like try to make more of an effort to find more abstract pies or desserts. Okay, going forward. Look forward. Not every you. week. But I look. I will be trying. I look forward to this. I do. I look forward to this. All right. I do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, last week I don't know if I told you this. I uh, I got I got cussed out by Roland Martin. Kinda. I don't know if I got cussed. I don't know. Did he cuss at me? He kind of cussed at me. But you know who Roland Martin is, guys. We we all know who Roland Martin is, right? I I do know who Roland Martin the is. The political commentator. Uh Roland Martin yeah. cussed me out on Twitter. Um and I it was uh, huh? No, I was thinking like giving background I, on Roland Martin. Well he ain't cussed me out. He just is. kinda I shouldn't say he cussed me out. He just like it was like a uh Well and he on the Tavis Smiley show. Probably. I think so. 
He's okay. he's definitely like that's where I him, remember him. Him and Tavis Smiley are definitely in the same lane. That's definitely true. Okay. But no, so I let like, you know, I'm gonna admit sometimes I be on I find myself on IG baddies pages on Instagram. Just somehow. I don't know how I get there. It, why? Explain that. I don't know. I don't know how it happens. I just like it's like you drive into the grocery store and then mm-hmm. you end up stopping for cigarettes. And you like I don't even need cigarettes right now, but then you but you get cigarettes now. But you meant to go to the grocery store. That's what it is for me. Like I'm really on Instagram. I was like, oh, I'm trying to see what so and so posting about. Mm-hmm. Then you see, uh, you know, you see some. You stop for McDonald's breakfast. It's that type <laughs> of thing. Um. So this is in the morning. Uh, not all the time. It's just whenever. Just it's just think about any time of the day you run in the air and you just get derailed. It's like the equivalent. Mm-hmm. So anyway, so sometimes, so I was noticing a pattern that all these IG baddies pages, Roland Martin would be in the comment section. <laughs> Saying what though? <laughs> old nigga stuff. <laughs> That's what's <laughs> Saying real old nigga like comments. <laughs> not like not even like cool stuff like a flame emojis <laughs> or like the dollar sign of my bag, something <laughs> or like like the thumbs up or something. No, he like watch out now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay now, sister. All right, girl, you bad. It's like this old nigga. Get out of here, Roland Martin. Get out. <laughs> You are a brick house. Get it. That's basically. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, Roller Martin. Get out. Get you, out. You show, you show enough skin tight. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what the comments are. Like, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's been a pattern, too. It's oh been a few. Oh, my gosh. And so I tweeted, like, because I was laughing at it. Like, I kept, I was, so I tweeted about it. I was like, yo, Roland Martin be under all the, under all the IG baddies pages. And then I was like, he not low, you know, which is just that phrase where, you know, you're not slick. You're not, you know, that type of thing. So he responded and he was just like, first of all, I'm a grown, I'm not a nigga. Cause I think I called him the N word. And I was like, this nigga not low. I think I said <laughs> the N word. And then he was like, first of all, I'm not a nigga. I'm a grown A black man. And then, uh, and then he said something else. And then I just, I would have retweeted it crying with the crying laughing emojis. Cause I was like, he was, cause I didn't even at Roland Martin. I just typed his name right. out. That's the crazy part. I didn't at him at all. I'm like, how did he even see it? Yeah, that's, yeah, he probably, yeah. And I think, he, I think most of the times at that level, you can, on Twitter, you could set it to where you see everything that has your name in it. Every tweet that has. Or every mm. subject that you might be in, yeah, you can set your Twitter to like that. So I'm sure he probably that it might have came through like that. But yeah, it was it made my week though. It made my week to see like I wouldn't let like we on to you, Roland Martin, and, and get better that comments if you're gonna do it. Be cool about it. Uh, why? <laughs> he needs to be who he is. <laughs> be old nigga. Just be old nigga. <laughs> he's he's old. Like he's gonna oh do old gosh. stuff. He can't. Like, it wouldn't even be right if he was like, oh, this picture's lit. Like, oh, I'll be like, oh, get out of here. This is disgusting, <laughs> Roland. Worse, right? Get out of here, Roland. <laughs> this is disgusting. Who got your phone? I'm like, who asked you, Roland? Get out of here. This is nasty. Uh, Speak- I- he's stacked. Speaking of- He's stacked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be real like, man. Man, this is old. I'm just... Uh, thinking anything that Ohio players would have come out with is something Roland Martin would say. You sweet sticky thing, you. <laughs> uh, Roland, this is like this might be sexual assault, Roland. Like, don't get out of here, get out. I'm sure that is the kindest thing that they see in their comments. I'm sure they are excited to see that. You're like, oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> oh, is that your granddad, Sugar? This I don't know why. I just somebody, somebody Instagram, some Instagram model's name is Sugar. There is. That's, oh, that's just my thought. Mm-hmm. It's my theory. Probably. Um, okay. 
but uh that it makes me think though that like in general like there's older men in my family sometimes that like will send me pictures of women and I'm uncomfortable. Uh, I'll be Why uncomfortable. Do they send you pictures? I just I don't just no 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 <laughs> don't mm-mm, don't send me this, bro. I don't even. This is not our relationship. You not you not you. Well, this is not our we. This boundaries now. It's like we not even on that level for me because I wouldn't do it vice versa. I would never send you somebody like. Bruh, check her. I would never. <laughs> you Uncle Willie. No. 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 <laughs> That's just not our relationship. Like, please leave me out of that. Please. Please. Oh my. They be married. <laughs> That's so it's so awkward. <laughs> oh man, leave me out of this. No. No. Does your wife know about this? <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't have any men in my family I'm that close to that they would even think to send me something like oh that. Oh my gosh, no! Mm-mm. Matter of fact, because I never talk like that about women. Like my cousins, or at least one of my cousins, thought I was gay for a mm-hmm. while until I got married, and then he was like, "Oh, he's not gay." So it was just recently where he was just like, "Oh, okay, Kyle, not gay," because I never like just bring up women in a derogatory sense. Cause that ain't how I roll. Why that? Why that gotta be like the litmus test of whether or not you not like if whether you talk crazy about women? That's crazy. That's, <laughs> that's just what he thought. Uh, yeah, I'm not comfortable talking like that about women. I sometimes have thoughts no. like that, but I'm not comfortable just like talking to people. <laughs> Right. Have you ever had like a stranger just come up to you and say something yeah. like, Whoo. Yeah. Like it's just like, why do you feel comfortable telling me this? Yeah, I don't, don't want to know mm-hmm. the desires of your heart. I don't. Keep that please, to yourself. Please. I'm uncomfortable. I feel like this is are we catcalling? Even though we not, but are we I feel like I'm part of the problem right now. What, I saying this right now? No, I'm saying and when they come oh. up to me, I'm saying like that at that point. No, I'm not saying right oh, now. Oh, right. Yeah, no, please keep that. Mm-mm. Um, so along the same lines, kind of, sort of, to you saying nigga earlier, mm-hmm. um, we got a comment on our first video. We did? That, yes. Oh. It says, I'm going to just read to you the first sentence. Okay. Please stop using the N-word. You both are smarter than that. Who said this? You know. Wait, okay. <laughs> you immediately who said this? <laughs> right, I'll you wait. To go find I'll him. wait. I'll wait for you to read it. Read though. I'm sorry. Um, um, that's all the comment. Well, that's just like that's what it has to pertain to. There's more to it, but that the rest of it will let you know who said. Oh, okay. It. Um, and it's not a bad thing if who said it, but it like kind of pissed me off at first, <laughs> <laughs> but that's more so because of who it's from. It's from, it's from my dear sweet mother oh. that you know and love. Oh, okay. Oh. But it's like you saying that about Roland Martin and then like my mom saying this kind of like compacted it and made it funny. Also <laughs> that like. Why are her younger generations so okay with saying nigga and odors aren't? Like, like what is that? <laughs> it's, difference? it's definitely a general, because they was in the mid, like, I feel like they were in, like, the crosshairs of, like, the transition of what them were meant. You know what I mean? Like, at that, mm. so, like, it was bad, you know, when your mom was coming up or people from that generation were coming up. Um, but at the same time, I feel like by the seventies, it was starting to become more in our like, or we was using it to, with each other. You know what I mean? And not, and not, cause we, and we. Let's also clarify, like there is a difference between the word the the n i g g e r the nigger and nigga. Mm-hmm. Those are two different words. They have a similar. They might have a similar like I guess foundation it maybe, but they're two different words. Um, so yeah that's we got to clarify that but also think like older generations don't always like make that distinction and to them it's all one and the same which and that's fair like i get that i respect it um but i'm not from that generation so i don't like necessarily think like process it the same you know what i mean 
Mm-hmm. But I do respect like that time that they came up in when that was a, a terrible word and people was calling us that and everything like that. But I know what I mean when I say it, and I'm not calling nobody like that at all. It's just like it's very nigga. It's a person, place, or a thing. It's a noun. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Um, so my response to her was, I really wish I could. That's what I, I said in the reply comment. You really wish you could what? Because she asked, could we please stop Oh, you really N-word? wish I could. And I said, I really <laughs> wish I could. <laughs> I was going to uh, quote to her. It's a tribe called Quest song, um, called "Suck a Nigga," mm-hmm. and I was just gonna like quote that to her, but I knew she wouldn't understand. She would, she that would have really, we'd have been deeper in the rabbit hole at that point. <laughs> but the lyrics, I'll just read some of them to you real quick. Mm-hmm. Actually, who was it? I think Tolu put me onto this song. Actually, uh, I'm pretty sure he put me onto it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but Shout I got the music Lou. from Travis Boswell. Travis had all the Tribe Called Quest albums. Word. He's the most the interesting great wealth man of knowledge for music. He's the most interesting man he in the is. world, actually. He <laughs> is. <laughs> he truly is. What if he's like podcast. Batman now? Like <laughs> or like just some type of superhero? What if he's fighting crime and wherever he lives at? <laughs> I don't know. I really want to talk to him cuz I don't know like what he does in life yeah. anymore. I know he's like in some kind of like gaming league, he was really in a video right. games. He was always really good. Right. I couldn't compete with him in anything. But yes, the most interesting man. Um it says see nigga was first used back in the deep south. Falling out between the dome of the white man's mouth. It means that we will never grow. You know the word dummy. Other niggas in the community think it's crummy, but I don't. Neither does the youth because we embrace diversity adversity. It goes right with the race. And being that we use it as a term of endearment, niggas start to bug to the dome is where the fear went. I can't read. <laughs> Moral of the story. I messed up so many times. But Maybe your mom was gave you a little too much credit. Or you too so- <laughs> <laughs> By saying y'all smarter than that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but there is a part of me though that I just wanted to be like, yeah, but like sometimes nah, I'm never mind. I ain't even gonna expose her like that. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it did. So the the reason why it upset me though was because it's like she don't like anything that I do. And it bothers me. <laughs> like I can't do anything right in her eyes, it feel like. So like all of my like sketches, all of my funny videos, she she does not like any of them. The only one she's ever liked was the one where basically I was making fun of Tasha. Uh, <laughs> That's the she, thought that that she, really she thought that was she thought that was but every single one of my things, she's just like, I, I I, just don't know why you would do that. Like, why? Like, the turkey video. She's like, why would you dress up like a woman? And I'm like, when was I dressed up like a woman? She's, you had on Tasha's vest. I'm like, that was it. It's like the little hair clip. And she was like, yeah, but just another black man dressing up like a woman for some entertainment. And I was just like, but I was a turkey though. Like what? <laughs> she said you my dear. <laughs> I mean, it, I guess it falls in line if I wear the wig. <laughs> I don't appreciate you posting that in public, by the way. So sorry. sorry. It's fine. I had some comments of support <laughs> under your comments. You did. See, people. <laughs> <laughs> you had one comment of support. Everybody else was joining in and the Oh, I mean, yeah, it was so much support. People were like, black men in afros, yeah, yeah. Embrace your kink, you kinky hair. That sounded weird. I had to had to 
É do King <risos> I get it. I get like I think our parents want us to. I think they. I think they have an idea in their heads of what they think we should do, and I think they often are disappointed when we don't fall in line with whatever their vision for what they think we should be doing or whatever. But they also, I feel like parents should also learn to understand. Like, yes, there's a lot of similarities. Like we come from them. Like we have a lot of their traits. Everything like we get or they have we have in some ways but we're also like our own people at the end of the day too like we're also yeah. like we there's a lot of things we've just different experiences we've had growing up all types of things have made us into different people and so i think they should like be more embracing of like in general i'm just saying parents and i ain't talking about your mom i'm just saying in general they should be more embracing of like how unique we are and like what you know because i'm sure my dad is like who is this dude <laughs> um but it's like you know i just grew up different i grew like we had different i mean and there's a lot of ways i'm like my dad but there's a lot of ways i'm different too so i think you know i think when i'm a parent and i, I think I'll, I'll probably understand both sides because i think as a parent there is a you do want your kids to do certain things and to be a certain way but i also think as a parent i would hope to be like give them the freedom to explore their own individuality outside of like okay what i think they should be you're trying to fit them in a box you know so sorry that was my little rant about that yeah that's real yeah you okay buddy though you want me to like pinch your cheeks no i'm fine okay after i actually talk to her about it a little more like I guess I understand where she's coming from. Mm -hmm. She she's just more like scared. She just be paranoid of like some of the stuff that I do and that it's gonna affect me in life later on mm. negatively. And I'm just like, I don't really care about that right <laughs> now. Though. Like, <laughs> like if I don't get a certain job at some point because of something I said on the internet, I'm okay with that. Yeah, and also I think. This is a different world, though, because, like, I think I think parents in general, especially because you're a content creator at the end of the day, and that is a very viable career path in 2021. Very viable. That's a billion-dollar industry at this point now. Um, and so I think parents, though, don't necessarily, because this is so different. Like, everything moves so fast, too, over the past 20, 30 years. Like, this is so different yeah. than when they came up where you just go down the line A, B, and C. Like, we literally can create whatever we want. We're clearly doing it right now with this podcast, but in general, like the internet has like opened up the, uh, so many different things that like our parents' generation wasn't like didn't have that. So the world they they might understand is a little different than how the world is now. So you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. so true. And I'm just I don't know. I'm just exploring. I'm having fun. Yeah. Dude. One of her issues, the other issue, I use like a gun as a prop <laughs> in some other videos. Fake gun, by the way. She was livid about that. Stop the violence, girl. <laughs> why would you, you? Why? Like, you're smarter than that. Why do you? And then she sent me yesterday, she sent me this video that I guess she thought was funny. This old corny video. I'm like, so that's the kind of mm -hmm. comedy you want me to do? That's what you want, huh? I'm not doing that. It was a Pee, -me, was just... Pee Wee Herman video. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was like it was like a Jeff Dunham joke or something. Oh, okay. And it was like a clip from him doing stand up where you know people just like just do like a voiceover and like yeah. mouth right. whatever they were talking about. Yeah. It was just this dude like drinking and mouthing what he's saying. And uh, just like, yeah. like, I'm like that's the that, that, 
that's the new thing on basically tick tap tick tock i was gonna like, say that's I'm, yeah that sounds like tick tock like what they i'm like um no it's, that's so weird that that's not... so popular now though i don't know how i feel about that aspect of content creation like doing a video where you're just mouthing what somebody else said i don't mm-hmm. know how that's getting popular i'm not a fan of it i'm not about to watch somebody act out somebody else's stuff i'd rather see the original i guess right. that's just me maybe that's a maybe i'm being the old guy now at the at the barber yeah. shop but that's i'm not a fan of that i mean i think it's different if you like if there's actual like a animation of it or like they're actually acting out something that was spoken verbally mm-hmm. but he was literally just mouthing the same exact things that the stand-up comedian was saying yeah i'm, I'm while good. just sitting there trying to be cute trying to like be a, he was like a pretty boy and like like yeah this is what you should do kyle and i'm like are you trying to tell me to get a haircut because mm-hmm. it ain't happening uh yeah no nah, i'm not a, that's plagiarism basically that's how i feel about that yeah, that's why people be getting sued mm. all the time. Like people be coming at Tony Baker all the time for him using the animal, animal videos? videos. He gets sued for that. Yeah. Oh, people people be trying now, that's to. That's different like, though. He don't. They be trying to like flag his stuff. Oh and... no, that's his stuff is different because he's actually coming up with a whole like sketch of something that that's the actual talent. What he's doing, he's not just yeah. like m- mimicking word. Or, yeah, what he's doing, I respect right. what he's doing. The animal videos are dope. But um, yeah, but I'm just saying that the fact that he's because it's like their yeah, intellectual property, intellectual yeah, property, yeah, and yeah, yeah. People are just like, no, this is mine, but, yeah, yeah. And they're like, do you not know how the internet works? Right. Like, if you put it on the internet, anybody can use it's it. It's out there. It's out that's there. Kind of a law. Yeah, that's why I don't get why people share videos of themselves crying on the internet, especially if you're famous. <laughs> <laughs> don't <laughs> I don't know why you would ever <laughs> reach into like that's a decision like that is a decision it's one thing to cry it's a whole nother thing to grab not expecting that. it's a whole nother thing to grab your phone and start recording yourself crying <laughs> that's two different things crying is I'm not anti-crying I am anti-crying on the internet though in front of a camera <laughs> like really of all things you could have did with that with those emotions you decide to grab mm. a camera and I mean, it might work in some cases. No, please don't. Don't to, mm. to get to some end resolve. Mm-mm. Don't get off these cameras crying, man. For real, please. <sighs> That's funny. Please. Uh, speaking of cameras crying, <laughs> who you going for, Drake, Kendrick, or Cole? Uh, so let me get my J Cole take out the way real quick. He okay. he's not on their level, and that we need Interesting. we need to stop propping him up on the same level as them too. He's like a notch or two below, and we like I think really it's his fans. He has a huge fan base in a lot of ways, and he has a lot of stands. So they've propped him up to this level that he's not. His music is boring. He's not as deep as he think he tries to act. He doesn't even read books, so it's like he props himself as like this intellectual. So. Kendrick doesn't either. I don't, we don't know that. I've heard him say that he doesn't. But he don't. So but I, he's not trying to be. In it, but he's like profound still, even without like he doesn't. I don't know. His it's different. It's not, and they're not the same. Like let's not even compare these two people. Like they're just J Cole is not on their level. That's just that's my take. Um, his music isn't as like even compelling. The stuff he talks about isn't really that all that interesting. I'd rather hear Drake talk about another girl that broke his heart than <laughs> J. Cole talk about whatever first world problems he's going through. <laughs> so, wait, so J. Cole's is first world problems, but Drake's isn't? Drake's is like, I feel like he has more, I don't know. It's just, it's who he is. That's what he's doing. But it's interesting. It's, I think he makes it, it still sounds cool, though. He makes it still sound cool, I guess. Even if it's a problem, he makes it still sound compelling. J. Cole just is like, man, shut up. <laughs> just shut up. What are you talking about? <laughs> so, yeah, that's my what? J. Cole. That's, I'm, not, I'm not putting him on the same level as those two. So you're not really a J. Cole fan? 
No, I know. What's funny is I think I would like him on a personal level. I think me and him would be cool. But at, at, musically, no, I'm not a fan. And his fans overrate him. I think I like his fans worse than I like dislike him more than I, I dislike them more than I dislike him. I think that's really what it is. But yeah. Okay. Yep. That's my my show, my cold stand. You see, he he put out an album this year. We ain't talked about it since it came out. Think about that. Some people have maybe like what three people. Uh, I'm not here for this kind of cold slander. Um, I don't know how I feel about it yet. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this take from you, yeah, honestly. This, but this. I mean, I'm not. I myself aren't, or am not. Am am not aren't. Whatever. I'm not a huge J Cole fan myself. Mm. Um, I like him though. But That's, I think he's likable on some on the per. Like he seems cool, but no, as an artist. Yeah. Um, cause I don't, I didn't really start listening to him until For Your Eyes Only. Yeah, which that's like, I, that's the one project of album of his I like. I liked all his mixtapes when coming to leading up to his first album, but after yeah. that he fell off to me. And then, uh, but I did like For Your Eyes Only. That's the one project. Yeah, yeah, that that album's great. Yeah, and let me let me be clear. He he'll occasionally have like I'm sure every album I would find a song I like and be like, oh, okay, this is cool. But I'm just saying as a whole, like, his body of work, like, compared to those two, is not even close. And we need to stop, like, talking like it is. So, okay, when I think about this, maybe I do. Maybe I, do, I, I can see you saying this. Because, for the record, ladies and gentlemen, Valerian isn't, like, much of a let's listen to the lyrics person. No, nah. He's more of like the composing of the music. Yes. As yeah. a whole. Yes. And I agree. Cole's compositions aren't on the level. He needs to stop control. making his own beats. If he um And I do agree with that too. Like I I really do think for him to progress to the next level, he really needs to work link with, up like, with a team of other producers. Link up with Hit Boy or Pharrell or somebody else. Right. Yeah. If he had an album with Pharrell and Timberland alone, yeah, that would something be something else, but yeah. Incredible. Mm -mm. So yeah, I I see that. Okay, so what about Dang, so you do put Kendrick there because Kendrick or not Kendrick, you put Cole there. Yeah. Cole put himself there, and that's what started this whole frenzy on Twitter. Oh, he put himself third um, behind Drake and Kendrick. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, and that's why Twitter started like erupting. With I mean, it wasn't even like that big of a deal, but because, like you said, it's. I mean, there's a lot of like you know who's third. You know who's really boys. third. <laughs> Future. <laughs> don't laugh don't laugh don't laugh don't laugh don't laugh <laughs> oh and you probably got young thug as number one no i don't have him as number one but he will be in that conversation too but future is third like honestly like if there was a mount rushmore the past 10 years of hip-hop future is on that mount rushmore mm. I would put 21 Savage over Future. No, no, no. <laughs> I would put 21 no, Savage no. 21 Savage is. <laughs> he is, is getting better. better. He's future. getting, like, every verse I hear from every new verse I hear from 20 is, like, even better than the last. Like, he's definitely, like, ascending, but Future, like, over the past, like, because we're having a. If we're talking Drake, Kendrick, J. Cole, we're talking legacy. We're talking, like, the past. Future is legacy? You want to talk about legacy? All he had was Dirty Sprite too. No, see, all he had was Dirty Sprite too. That's his legacy. No, it's Dirty Sprite no, too. it's not. It's Dirty Sprite too. It's Purple Rain. It's Monster. It's Evil. It's uh, what a time to be alive. Okay, but that was a collaboration with Drake. But, that was but I'm, I just named you like five albums in a row. He had a run. Like Monster, I don't even know what those other albums those are. Were like, he had like Beast Mode. Like he had a bunch of mixtapes, even leading up to Dirty Sprite too. I was, I was going to say probably mixtapes, yeah. but I wasn't. I think on his rise and even J. Cole's rise was when I was like in my, I don't listen to secular music. <laughs> I can't. It's not fit for Christian ears. I can't do this. 
Um, uh, and so, I was too, but I I went back over quarantine to futures like a lot of stuff I missed, and it's like, uh-huh. yo, I could send you some stuff where you be like, oh. all I know, like all I know is old future is like Tony Montana. No, it's, it's you gotta go, and... you gotta go to Dirty Spike era. Anything within those few years after, before, and after. What else? He was on the run. Oh, speaking of future, can we talk? I I need to address the public for um. What is that song that everybody loves that I just don't understand? March Madness. The song is not that good. Like I'm about to end this call. Not. I'm about to end this call right not. now. I'm so sick. Don't, everybody who brings that's up what I'm future, talking about right there. everybody who brings up future and is like, yo. Nah, but have you heard March Madness, though? Think- Even, like, people that don't like Future, they're still, like, March Madness is great. And I still, I'm just, like, I listen I to think March Madness. Where, where have you I'm heard like, it at? Have you just I, been it on just the toilet? It just over my head. Have you just been on the I toilet listening to it? I, I don't hear it. Have you just been it's on the not- toilet listening to it? Like, and you like, on your, through your headphones, your little, like, you know, Apple Pod, you know, AirPods or something? Like, where have you heard March Madness? That's the quick question. Have you played it where in your I car? Where have heard it? Have you played it? Have you heard it out at a bar or a club? Um, I don't think so. You don't go to bars and clubs. I'm just, but I'm just saying, I'm making the point though. Certain <laughs> music is like you hear it at a, at certain places, and you're like, I got like studio speakers right here. Then play March Madness right now, and don't if you don't <laughs> if you don't start levitating, then I don't know what to say. <laughs> levitating. I don't know what to say. March Madness I, I'll play, is like I'll one of the greatest songs off. of this decade. Uh, it wasn't even this decade. That beat okay. is crazy. The man, it, that's the other thing. The beat is like okay. Like I don't. Man, get out. See it. I don't know. If, are there multiple versions? I'll tell you one thing. The wrong March version? Madness is better than anything J Cole's made in the past ten years. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Now that I'll tell you. J. Cole don't get a March Madness. <laughs> he don't get a March Madness. So, okay, you're clearly uh like our the hype music. Not all, but it, that's the thing. Like I respect it. I don't always need to listen. I can't listen to it like all day, all night. But I respect it now a lot more than even I because I was big on like it's got like beats and lyrics. They got to rap. But now like I see like what the the trap music and all that stuff i see the appeal of it now like i see like mm-hmm. i can listen to it now and be like oh this is dope it's not like it ain't talking the about artistry nothing that's, behind it huh i said the artistry behind yeah, it yeah yeah exactly it's like yo this is in future is like a art like he is a poet he is like all that like he's doing like bro i'm telling you yeah like absolutely yeah got no manners for no sluts yeah Let's stick my thumb up her butt man poet poetry Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Man. <laughs> I got a friend that think if Future was around in the 80s, he would have been just as big as Michael Jackson. And I don't have no reason <laughs> to argue that. I don't have no reason to argue that. I don't... See, he could be, but he was too focused on the future. <laughs> okay. And you know, and another <laughs> thing about Future, people always underrate, like, he really is a real... Because he came from Dungeon Family. He's a dungeon. Did he? Yeah, he's under dungeon. He's from Dungeon Family. Like he's like later. They, For this, real. This generations of Dungeon Family, but he's a part of Dungeon Family. Yes. What? Yes. This blows my mind. Yeah. What? Yeah. Which is crazy because I would still pick Big Gip over Future, but okay. <laughs> Back to Drake and Kendrick. Thoughts. Uh, you didn't finish. Those. Oh yeah, so um, they're two different artists. I go to them for two different things, but they've been like great at what they both do. Like Drake is like Drake is a hit maker, man. Like if that's one thing, he don't his albums aren't always the best. Like I think his sound has kind of gotten stale over the past few years. But I will not take away that man's ability to make a hit. Like he knows how to get on the chart. He knows how to make something that you gonna hear. Your grandma might hear it. You know what I mean? Like it's that big mm-hmm. of like how how big he is and he's great at that um and he's been consistent like he's been 10 years like his run has been pretty crazy they're starting to compare him to Mike over 10 years yeah they're starting to compare him to like Michael Jackson and all that stuff but I, that's crazy but it's but it does tell you how consistent he's been and how he's been able to make these hits um Kendrick though to me is just like art he's just an artist man he's just like 
he just comes at things from just a di- he's unprecedented there's like never been an artist like kendrick like ever like drake is too on some level but kendrick is even more like he he's an anomaly like like every he hasn't he doesn't have an album yet that i haven't like probably would give five or ten out of ten like every album of his set i would make i might dock damn a little bit i didn't like damn as much as the other stuff but it still was pretty great and i still can't knock it and if i go back and listen to it i'm like oh this is hard um mm-hmm. so yeah kendrick is just yeah he's an anomaly he's somebody that like no rapper would really go at kendrick you know what i mean because yeah. cause rappers try Drake on the low every now and again. He's been in some beefs. People come for him, but nobody comes at Kendrick like that. And it ain't. And I don't. I'm. I'm sure on some level Kendrick is like he doesn't seem like the type that would like. He doesn't bother anybody. But still though, they they Pete the rappers respect like his pen and his ability. Like they're not trying to you know get ate up by him. Yeah. Um. And so yeah, Kendrick is. He's unprecedented. I have a lot of respect for Kendrick Lamar. I I think he's like number one, but I also think Drake is number one. If that makes it's hard to say. They're like one A, one B to me. Cause like Drake is great. You need Drake. You need like that type of music in hip hop. You need part good party music. You need good like music. Like, cause Kendrick, that's the thing about Kendrick. He's not the he, he's not the artist I would play at like a kickback or a party necessarily. I might play a couple songs of his. But he's not the artist you can just run straight through. You could literally put Drake on shuffle and like it's great part, it's good, like good kick it. I'm we chilling, talking, whatever. It's great music for that. You need that in hip hop. I think people often like I love lyrics and I think lyrics are a great part of hip hop, but I also think what made hip hop big and great was it was a lot of party stuff. It was a lot of good stuff to just like enjoy life to, like summertime by Will Smith. You know what I mean? He wasn't mm-hmm. like just spitting the craziest of bars, but it was like you need me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you need that in hip hip hop, and I hate I don't like like these debates of like because you need both. I don't think it has to be either or thing. You need music that's just like I'm not trying to think all deep and be all like you know getting to the trigonometry of like like right now. Let's just I'm trying to just chill, and Drake is perfect for that. Um, right. and then Kendrick but Kendrick is like you know I'm, when I'm in a zone where I just want to be inspired by somebody like Kendrick is like that rapper for sure mm. mm-hmm. 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 random though if I like cause you know I want to produce like if I I would probably produce for Drake before Kendrick though I feel like I, I have a lot of stuff for, uh, for his vibe I feel like matches the type of music I want to make low key Mm. But that's a whole nother. What like the like the lo fi sound? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the R and B chords, all that stuff. That's all up my alley. Yeah. Mm. I feel you. Yeah. What okay. what do you think? Um I don't know. I think the like the hip hop backpacker in me <laughs> would would wanna like put drake at the bottom but i like drake i really do um and i think like i don't think he gets enough credit for his lyricism sometimes i think people that are fans of him appreciate it but i think the way that he like thinks through things i like yeah like i i like hearing his thought process on things sometimes even though he's like reminiscing a lot of the time and i he like expresses that that's what he's doing like he made a career off reminiscing yeah. i forget what album he said that on yeah but, um that was off if you're reading this it's too late but that's neither here nor there okay mm-hmm. that's that's um, his best album which to me, again, by the way that also came out when i wasn't in my yeah right listening in the secular but i went back and listened to it and i'm like this is great mm-hmm. I've, I've been missing out on this that's um my thing with cole i will say uh, I I hate the whole narrative of like went platinum no features um, because literally if you listen to those albums he had features he just didn't like feature them like he did like there are other people on this album oh, right. you hear their voices yeah. they're singing they're doing something he just ain't credit them on the album yeah they're just not credited yeah. on the album like how is that then no features yeah. like this song like nobody's perfect babe that's Missy Elliott yeah 
Oh, was it her? Yeah, that was. But that ain't the album he was referring to on that. But yeah, I know what you're saying. Well, I'm saying, but that was yeah. one of his albums, though. Yeah. They say it on multiple albums because yeah. he's gone platinum. Yeah. Their features on multiple albums, which is impressive, but still have features. And going platinum, um, and I feel like you also got to take that with a grain of salt because going platinum in the streaming era isn't the accomplishment that people are making it out to be. You know what I mean? Like, because it's not a actual... Yeah, it's not like going platinum in, like, 2000 or 2004. Like, when you had to go out and buy... People had to physically go buy your album. It's Platinum's not the same in 2021 as it was, like, 20 years ago, or 15 years ago. Even maybe maybe 10 years ago. But, yeah. Uh, Yeah, it's not... Like, you can... It's easy to get... It's easy to run the streaming numbers up nowadays, you know? And it's not as, like... It's less... It's a much more passive act to stream the artist than going out and buying their album. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Um, it's neither here nor there. Anyway, so I I do like, I like Cole, and I also understand where people say he's kind of boring because he doesn't really make club music. Like, he might have one song per album that's, yeah. like, radio hit. And, but, like, generally, that's not his MO. And he also, he's a focus on lyrics. Um, I already said before, I think his production could be better. I think he should work with other producers more and, like, take some more time, focus on the artistry of things and not what he's saying. But I also love what he's saying. Like, he's saying things that, like, I think about and have with, like, people in conversation and, like, um, mental health stuff and yeah, like how to be wise financially stuff like that. He's always talking about that stuff, but Kendrick also talks about that stuff, but he does it way more artistic. Yeah, and it's like you miss it if you're not actually like listening to what he's saying because he, I think, out of all of them, Kendrick is the weirdo. Yeah, he's 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 so, the most abstract out of all of them. Yeah, yeah. so it's like. Yeah. Like really artsy people are kind of weird, yeah. yeah. Or people that fully embrace their artistic side yeah. tend to be a little weird. But he is that, but he's also just like a brilliant artist. Like he has like a jazz concept album, and which is like, my favorite album of his. I love to pimp a butterfly. It's, it's great. Yeah. Um, and then even like how he incorporates like that album trying to like have an interview with Tupac who he like yeah really looked up right to. right like that's he's really artistic like you're not getting that from Drake you're not really getting that from Cole nah, either nah. um so I mean I would still put Hendrick number one um because he checks more biases because I think Kendrick has the lyrics that Cole can represent but he also has the artistry. Yeah. Um, but I also think with Kendrick, like he can, oh, I hope he doesn't one day like have like a Kanye episode uh. where like <laughs> Kanye is like such an artist and like so much of like a perfectionist about his art. And I've like watched interviews with Kendrick and Kendrick is like, very tedious about it. Like he'll stay up three days straight just trying to perfect like one song. Yeah. And and I'm just like, that's cool. Like that's great. But like sleep is good too. <laughs> like you should <laughs> like it, like I wonder would things be a little different if like I don't know if he wasn't such a perfectionist. And like I hope yeah, I just hope that one day that that doesn't like come back to bite his his sound yeah, yeah, yeah. i don't know. um he seems but he's a, Dre, oh go ahead huh i was gonna say kendrick no. always seems more level-headed though than kanye he's always seemed more just humble more like mm. so maybe that might be he's always seemed grounded he's always he's been with the same label you don't really hear much about him outside of music yeah so that's true yeah. that is true what are you gonna say about drake though um Drake, uh, 
Yeah, I just gotta go with what I like. <laughs> I think I do like Drake more than I like. I like I'll listen to a Drake album quicker than I'll listen to a Cole album. Cole is like when I'm like really trying to be deep and like introspective. Yes. And Drake is like if I'm just driving around and I need to stay awake, I'm putting Drake on. Yeah. Um you should put on future Drake. would really help you with that. But that's neither. I, I so I want to make a real quick point about future too that people also fail to point out because I do think he's third and I also think he's third too because of his influence like the mumble rap he started that and it's like pretty much all hip hop all most of southern rap and this young Gen Z stuff is all mumble stuff most of it it's some cats who are younger who are rapping and lyricists but a lot of it's mumble rap and all that is future's like the godfather of all that he's like he's pretty much like. What, was he doing that like in his mixtapes? Yes, he was doing uh -huh. it since like that Tony Mon. That was like kind of like the start of that the Tony Mon. That was like mumble rap. That was pretty much the like the genesis uh -huh. of it. And this was that was like 2012, 2013. Yeah, I, we were still in school. Yeah, was that like his first mixtape? No, he had other stuff, but that was the first one that I got hip to. That was a uh, Pluto. That was like the first one that okay. I like that kind of put me on his. But he had, he had been around because Future's older, so he'd been out since like the early two thousands. Yeah. That's why I say he's part of Dungeon Family because that's who he came up under. That's like yeah, that's so crazy. Yeah, I had no idea. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Nah, but Drake, yeah. I like him a lot. I already spoke on him. Um, so I'd go Kendrick Drake. Future. And and Cole. I'm going <sighs> I'm going Kendrick Drake and Future. I'm just going off of the list at hand. <laughs> We're not talking about everybody right now. <laughs> just the list at hand. And I think it's very audacious that Cole put himself there. I'm just all, all, that's all I'm saying. Very a little like you know. He put himself there behind those two. But we know those are the top two. Means... We know those are the top no. two rappers. And and hey, come on now. Uh, okay, I guess. So he's wrong. I don't know. I mean, he's smart though, man. That so future smart too. Like he does stuff. Like he says things, and I'm just like, man, that's good right there. Future says stuff, and I'm like, I feel him. But I will say, of all people, when I listen to Cole, he's the only one that I'll listen to, and I'm be like, I could do that. <laughs> 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 you wouldn't feel that and way listening to March Madness. I know that. You wouldn't be like Definitely not. Yeah. I definitely wouldn't. <laughs> uh, but he he definitely is the person. I'm like, yeah, I, I think I I think I can do that. Because it's like it seems like we have similar thought processes anyway. Word. <clears throat> Speaking of that, um, like you know how I used to want to be a rapper, right? Right, right. And I, I mean, like I still do it. I, I've gotten better over the years. I just don't put things out. But I, I don't like it. Had to do with something that you were saying earlier about like how like hip hop like people just want to be like so like deep all the time and just like but there should be room for like fun and the party of aspect of it and. I think I put a lot of pressure on myself to like, I need to be like very deep. Like, stay all the in time. school. Don't do drugs. <laughs> Give your mama a kiss and a lot of hugs. <laughs> you want to do that? <laughs> you want to get real introspective? <laughs> Go ahead, man. Get them bars <laughs> off. <laughs> One, two, three, two, the four. <laughs> Get them bars off, bro. The game needs you, Kyle. The game need that. But now, but recently, I've like been listening to like these like young rappers that are just like, like originally I was just like, what is this? But now I like really respect it. Like it, they, I hear how much fun they're having. And that's what it should be about. You should just be having fun. So, yeah. like, now the stuff that I write is for, like, just having fun and having, having fun, fun with it. And I've been enjoying it. 
playing at the park with all the guys. <laughs> Five ladies walk by. We all say hi. Respectfully, though. <laughs> we don't look at the thighs. Like, I can go on and on. Man, you get it. There you go. That's your first oh, song. Shit. <laughs> oh, shoot. Pat got this video about listening to old school rap. It's so funny. Pat. Pat. Patrick Cloud. Pat Cloud. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He, he's he been, like, one of my inspirations. He's really young. Like, he's younger kids. than I thought he was. He's, like, our age. I thought uh, he was older. He's a little older. No, nah, he's, like, legit just turned 30. I just saw a post where he... He's, he's like, 33. May, okay, maybe. Let's Google it. That's what... I like I know I know because he he just turned 33 oh. or 34 one of those two okay. I I follow him a lot like I said he's one of my role is models is he black right or now. what is he what, I know that's rude yeah he black oh okay oh his his parents are black oh I thought he was like you know he's look he exotic looking but that's that's <laughs> low key he from California right that's California black though they they look ambiguous <laughs> out there that's California black. That makes sense. I mean, his, uh, he does stuff with his brother a lot, and his brother really looks like mixed. Oh, see, it's that California. But, but they look alike. They just yeah. his brother look mixed. Yeah. Um. Last thing, and then then we can wrap this up. Okay. So I was watching like the uh squat cast that they do like every Monday, and I saw this. And I was wondering, what do you think about, would you rather be the last man on earth or the last person on earth? So the last man on earth would be like, you're the only man, all women survive. And then last person is you're literally just the only person. Uh, just let me be the last man with all women. I don't, I don't want to be the last person. That's a very easy choice for me. I don't want to be the last person, but I'll be the last man. Okay. The world needs me. What do they need you for? Um, you want to get into sex education? They're gonna need me to propagate the. I don't know why you had to be sex educated. <laughs> See, that's the thing. That's why I thought this was interesting to bring up because all their points about things was like, why do you think like dudes just always want to be like. Yeah, if I'm the last man on earth, that wasn't what I, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be whatever. No, that's whatever not how I thought on. about it though. I just thought like ultimately there's a, gonna be a need for me, and I'll yeah at some point. It might. I'm not saying everybody. I'm just saying there's like there's gonna. I have a usefulness in the sense of being the last man. If it's just me and it's just by myself, like there's like you need. I feel like all people need some level of utility. If it's just you and you in the whole world, like that would suck, honestly. Oh, yeah. I mean, I would still say the last man just because I know how, like, crazy a person can go if they're in isolation. Yeah. Like, that That sounds awful to be completely by yourself forever. Yeah. Um, or to, until you die, at least. Yeah. But, but to think about, like, if you're the only man, they're going to run a they're going to want to run tests on you. You're just going to be like a lab rat because they're trying to understand why are you the only man? Like, why are you? The oh, one I here? see what you're saying. Why did all the other men die? And now you're just less. Right. Maybe so they'll know that. You're just by... going to be a guinea pig. Not necessarily. Maybe it's just like sometimes extinction just is like they know leading up to the part when it's like the last. It's like animals when there's like a last grizzly bear left or something. It's like, Grizzly. whatever, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but they usually know leading up to what happened, how we got to, how they got to that point. Yeah, but, uh, you know what I mean? I don't know. Like, what if it's just like instant though? Like, it's just oh, a bomb well, goes yeah. off. That's it. Um, but yeah, I guess they, I mean, maybe they could, you know, women aren't in STEM yet. They don't know. They're not going to be easy with them. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 
That's not funny. I'm sorry, women. Um, I'm not. It's not. I didn't put this like this. It's just what it is. It's just funny that you. Oh gosh, <laughs> that you just said that. <laughs> Women aren't in STEM yet. <laughs> There's so many women in STEM. They no, but that was one of the points though of like it's women are then gonna be leading these corporations and businesses and stuff. So it's like they're going to um make the last man on earth as profitable as they can. Like if they can get a hold of him mm. um and his DNA and like they're gonna make that profit. So you basically you saying I'm gonna become like it's gonna be like those movies where like at first they come into they coming at you like you the last you so valuable and at first everybody seems nice but then you realize it's just this undercover government plot and they're trying to like build make some type of superhuman or something and now I gotta kill just, the lady who's over the whole company who's actually evil even though she comes off as nice initially. And then it's just like the boys. And then I fall in love with a girl who work at the lab. Me and her fall in mm. love because she like don't want this to happen. So she ended up saving me and helping me escape the lab. And then we risking her own life. Yeah. And then at the end, out. and at the end of the movie, it's found out she pregnant with another boy. And I'm still. Mm. Mm. We got a movie. Dang. This is a blockbuster film. Just there. Just that quick. <laughs> just that quick. There was actually a movie. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but it was like this same kind of premise, but the women were the ones going extinct. Mm -hmm. um, and like, it was this, something was falling, like this dust from the sky was falling and it only affected women. So if women like got infected, they died, oh, but all the men were fine. Oh. And they were like trying to, they were collecting women as the, point of like oh this is like this safe thing like we're just coming to like do something or whatever but they were actually just keeping them and running tests on them and like doing whatever and then a lot of them were ended up dying and stuff so it's interesting because yeah. with um frida pinto and leslie odom that's not his name what's the Google. dude's name i don't know it's a netflix movie oh, okay came out like a year or two ago but yeah i was curious your thoughts i was hoping you weren't saying that i think that was really what this was to see is my co-host a <laughs> trash dude and i have to like address this in some other episode no no it's not like are you that are you that dude that's like hey you know what i got you for your birthday this d <laughs> <laughs> dudes really be thinking like <laughs> no nah, that's that, not i don't think like that but i, that I, themselves I, I just i thought about it from price. just how like the utility of it of like that yeah i wasn't like oh yeah i get to spread my seed all around the world <laughs> <laughs> no because <laughs> i also feel like a part of me is going to be annoyed <laughs> I mean, I I think that would be the case because I have friends when they talk about like when they start having kids um, or when they were trying to have kids, like their wives were just like just on them all the time oh. and they couldn't stand it. Mm. <laughs> they were just mm. like, again, not now. I'm tired. <laughs> Leave me alone. And every time that they were like ovulating or something. Mm. And I'm just like, oh, yeah. It doesn't yikes doesn't sound as fun when you put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you just thought about something. <laughs> I can't say it on air. I'll share it with you though off air, but I can't say it on air. But uh Dang it. well I I'll say this. I definitely had the visual of like <laughs> a woman, a wife coming home, like really, like and, and like taking the doors off the hinges, like with and, and the dude hiding <laughs> under the bed. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> That's what she sounds like Batman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he? Uh, uh, oh man.
Yep. That's funny. <laughs> Mm. All right. Well, yeah. That's a. I think that's a good place to stop. Wrap things up. Uh, I feel weird just like calling out like when we're stopping. Yeah. I mean, I feel like we gotta close it out. I get. I mean, with what though? I love you. You love me. We're a happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? Goodbye, guys. <laughs>